Hello, um, in a long line of Game Boys, I thought I'd do a little history rundown design thing, um, just for the fun of it, and also because, um, I lost my Game Boy Color a while back, and I decided, uh, to trade my, some Genesis games in, and they didn't get money back, so I decided, uh, since I'm on vacation, I can't, uh, th there's no, none of that store nearby, near me, so I had to spend it while I was there, so I bought a Game Boy Color. Um, so, um, I decided to show you, uh, my, the, the, the whole Game Boy line and, uh, what the hand, how they handheld not not just the whole Game Boy line, but the DS line, and how the Game Boy has evolved from the original Game Boy till now. Plus, there's the new DSi, the DSi L L L XL coming out soon. Um, so this is the original. Um, note: I don't have a back because. Um, well, the back is sort of broken, and I need to get this one uh, repaired because of uh, the springs in here are broken. But um, it's interesting to look at. It. It's a uh, you know big. It's a big gray one. Uh, it's got the yellow s the tint on the screen, as you can see. Um, so the brightness is hard to get right. In the in the uh, in the lighting, um, that was a problem, and size was a problem with the original. Uh, this one um, doesn't have as the the screen changed, uh, so it made it better for lighting. Uh, this one also does not have a back. I'm working on getting one for that. Uh, let's see. Um, this one, where's the, uh, hmm, this, this one adds the link cable, I just noticed that, volume is still on the side, um, the AC adapter moves to the bottom, um, uh, trying to figure out what this is, is this extension connector, I've never really studied a original Game Boy because honestly this is my first original Game Boy. I can't figure out what that is. I can't get it off. Okay. Yeah, that's for the, um, and oddly enough this has a piece for it. The other ones don't. Um, and noticeably the buttons got smaller. Uh, this is my, this was my first Game Boy, but this is not my original Game Boy Pocket, which I also lost. Um, so, uh, size-wise, uh, you'll notice with the color, a after the Pocket, the color got thicker. Um, the thing stayed, uh, the same on that side. Uh, Instead of triple A's, uh, it upgraded to double A's. Uh, the power button is now on the side. Um, where's the volume? Okay, so the volume moved. Um, there's no more of the uh, of the the scaling it to to the right, to, so you can see it. Um, and then you have this thing, which I never actually figured out what that's for. Um, all I know is there is some use in uh, Pokemon. I think it was with the Pokemon uh, uh, pedometer. Um, but the the screen actually changed too. You may know. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can get close enough. Yeah. Um, the screen looks brighter 
um, without even turning it on. Um, then from Game Boy Color, you've got the worst, what I believe to be the worst uh, design Game Boy ever, the Game Boy Advance. Um, you've got the, I call it the hand digger, well not really, but um, the adage of the L and R button, um, the cable goes here, um, yeah. Next up was the SP, um, the best design Game Boy. Uh, only problem was there was no headphone jack. Um, volume was a slider. Um, let's see. Uh, this this is actually I, what I believe to be a design after these Game Boys. Um, another well-designed Game Boy is the Micro, which came after the SP, but doesn't uh, very, give very much notice. Um, in fact, I hated on it for a while, for a very while. Um, I don't know why I had the game inserted wrong, but somehow it works. Um, this game has rumble, that's why it's sticking out, otherwise it wouldn't stick out. Um, it's small, has a skin which I don't feel like taking off, just to show you that. Uh, everything's just small, and it's a great single Game Boy for just playing single Game Boy, uh, uh, Game Boy Advance games. Um, noticeably that this, that the SP is the last one to play only color. And then finally we move on to the DS. The DS is a heavy, um, it's not like, uh, you know, it's just heavy, um, big, um, not well thought out. Uh, in fact, the the prototype that was shown off at E3 for this DS was better. Um, Nintendo thought over that and qu quickly uh, came back with this. Um, let me pull the stylus out um, and then compare the styluses. You've got this and then this. Um, Uh, the differences are that th this is, you've got a power slider, um, the power on here is, was getting confusing to some, I don't know who, but, uh, the, the volume comes down here, and just a quick design change. Finally, you have the, the latest, the DSi. This as camera and um, and a software change, and now no Game Boy Advance slot. This is because they wanted to make download downloadable titles available. Um, this goes back to the matte finishing, which. Um, is on the first two Game Boys, the first three. Well, it was on, um, I, I wouldn't call that a mat, that's not mat really. Uh, so, yeah, um, that's, that's it. Um, let me just get a final group thing going on here so we can see them all together. That's that's a little look to compare them all together. Thanks for watching.